welcome back to the channel. Today we are out in our bog. Eric and I are preparing the site where our third beehive is going to go. We are getting our bee package in about a week. So we have a little bit of prep to do and we're going to get started. We got down to the pallet, quite a bit of ice down here. We're just gonna try to shovel this out best we can. This is right where our third hive went. So we have enough room for it to go here. And then I think we're gonna spread some ash on this afterwards. See if we can get things to melt a little more for us. All right, we got our ash spread. That should definitely help expedite, get this area, you know, some of the snow melted. I think we have some sunshine forecasted for the next few days. And then we've got to come back out here and get the third beehive all set up. It almost looks like honey cells. Honeycomb, huh? huh? Yeah, they're circle. Okay. And then they go tight? Yeah. If it's already tight enough, you just stick on everything. Got a beautiful spring day out here today. I believe it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and I don't think it's been this warm, and I don't even know how long. So we're enjoying this day out here. It's been about five days since we've been out here working with the bees, and as you can tell, the ash we put down has pretty much melted all of the snow. The whole pallet is exposed, and we're just kind of getting things ready for the new beehive. All right, it is April 13th, and I think it is safe to say that our two hives behind me overwintered. They successfully overwintered here where we are in Alaska, zone three. Very exciting stuff. We were not so successful last year. As you know, we lost our two hives and this time we had a 100% success rate. So pretty cool. I'm not sure if it'll ever happen again. That's my goal. Today, Eric and I are going to be starting to transition the bees to their spring summer setup. So we're going to be deconstructing their overwinter setup just a little bit and this is a good day to do it because we've got some warmer temperatures and some sun shining. We have to first take off the styrofoam and we'll go over a little bit of how we set them up for the winter. Is it going to blow away if I put it over? Oh, going on. Okay. So, I say just pop it off like a... Pull it straight up. Can we do that? It should go. Yeah. <laughs> We've got our foam board insulation off 
and our hives are already styrofoam but that was just an extra layer of insulation for them the other things that we did is put a quilt box on the hive and that's basically something to absorb the moisture of the hive throughout the winter i think that was one of the downfalls of our hives last winter we have a pillowcase in this box and it just has shavings in it and in fact they're not even moist at all so i'm going to be taking that off today the other thing we added is a candy board and the candy board also kind of acts as something to wick up moisture from the hive but it primarily serves as a backup food source for them in case they run out of honey and they should need some extra food in the spring and i can tell that they have already broken into it but they still have some of it left i'm not quite sure if i'm going to be pulling that off today and in fact i need to just kind of take a peek in the side to see what we're going to be doing so this is the larger of the two hives and you can see that they've been coming out and some of the bees have probably been cleaning out so that's actually a good sign you know it looks a little alarming to see all the dead bees but you know that just happens we lose a lot of them over winter so i'm gonna try to pop open i want to see if they only need one brood box i don't know if they need both of them right now hold on a second That's a lot of bees. That's a lot of chicken food is what I say that is. We managed to get the bottom box out, which is awesome. Uh, we want the bees to be confined to the smallest amount of space possible. And I knew, I had a feeling they weren't occupying this box. They were obviously a very big hive when we, you know, put them to bed for the winter um, or put them away. So we got this out and it seems as though they ate through like all of their stores on this, on this box. I'm not seeing any sort of honey left. Let me get out one of these frames so I can show you what else we did for their winter setup. These are the frames that Eric made for the corners. We put this on just the sides to kind of help them with insulation in the hive. And I, I mean, I think it, I think it all really helped. I think it all came together to help them survive. You can tell there's a lot of dead bees. Totally normal, even though I've never overwintered them. That is normal for a lot of the hive to die off because they had to go through such a long winter. I mean, over six months, honestly. So it looks like they are doing okay though. I'm gonna pop in to check the cluster size and then we're going to give them some sugar syrup to have as well. Oh my gosh, look at them. Okay. They sound, they sound like there's a lot of them. Bunch of sugar left, huh? Um, I'm wondering if they're clustering over there because beep beep. There we go. I got most of them all. Okay. Put this over here. Okay, we are closing it back up. We've got our pollen patty in there, and then we added some sugar syrup, just one to one ratio, water to sugar. And I think this hive's looking really good. I didn't see the queen, but I didn't expect to. I think it looks really good, but again, this is my first time, so I don't really have much to go off of. We're gonna hop over and check the other hive. This is the inner cover off the hive that Ariel just kind of disassembled and was checking on the bees. You can tell this one has the reflectix on it, and it also has a little screen and that's why it's out now. We put just a regular one in there because we're giving them the sugar water and they can't get to it through that screen. So I'm gonna disassemble this one and make it just plain how it was and then we're gonna tackle this hive and we'll stick this one in there along with some of that sugar water.
peanut butter. Yeah, sure. Clean off the bottom. I still clean off the bottom, but it's not bad. Is that enough space for you to work? Yeah. Got this, baby? Oh yeah, we got shims too on this one. Just remember that. Right down the hole. You didn't see the queen, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna put the... Okay, please don't bite me, guys. I'm your friend. I'm not your enemy. It's a lot more than I thought they'd be. Babe, the cluster's huge! The cluster's probably... Put the rest in the box if you want. Sorry, guys. In the box? What like box? Once you get the... Yeah, but it's, if you want to hold it there. It's just what happens is whichever ones fly out aren't going to make it back in, unfortunately. They will. It's a little bit of a surprise, huh? You could practically leave these on, honestly, huh? For now, you can. Here's stuff. We finished up the second hive and surprisingly, it actually looks really, really good. I'm very excited. It was a smaller hive, but they look, they look like they're doing just as good as this hive and they've eaten through a lot of their sugar. So we just set them the same way up with the pollen patty and some sugar syrup. Tomorrow we're gonna pick up our package of bees in the afternoon. And I'm gonna be taking these, unfortunately these dead bees to the chickens. Can't even get it all in one scoop. get our package bees. We are heading to a town outside of Anchorage. It's called Eagle River. I think it takes us um, under about an hour and a half to get there and I'm not sure if we're gonna install them today. You should install them the same day you get them but it's been starting to get windy and we may even have some rain in the forecast and if that happens I can't install them so we'll have to hold off till tomorrow morning. But for now we are going to enjoy our drive. We've got the dogs in the back and we will see you guys when we pick up the bees. Well, we finally picked up our bees. We have the package right here. They look lovely. It is a little bit later in the day because the flight for these bees came in a little bit later. So we're definitely not gonna be installing them tonight. Uh, we're not gonna get home until after eight. And although we'll still have daylight, the weather will not be on our side. It's windy, possibly sprinkly back home. Well, we're finally on the highway heading home. It's a little after seven o'clock now. It's been a long day and the roads out here, this is called breakup season. So the roads are wet, they're nasty, there's slush everywhere. We're constantly cleaning the windshield. We're cleaning the headlights off. We're all ready to go for our ride home. And tomorrow we'll be putting the bees in their new home.
It's install day for our bees. We have some really nice weather for this today. We kept this bee package inside overnight. We kept it in a dark kind of cooler location for the bees and I spritzed them with some sugar water to make sure that they were bee fed. Ideally, I would have wanted to get them installed last night, but again, with the weather, we just couldn't do it. So we're out here today. This package we have our Russian bees. That's also the other two hives that we have, but this year we got them in a bee bus. So it's a little bit of a different contraption than I'm used to, but we shouldn't have too hard of a time taking that apart. We're gonna get our smoker lit so we can get them into their hive. We've got our hive all ready. We use screen bottom boards so they get a lot of air circulation in there. So that's what we have going on. And I just pulled out two frames and I'm gonna be putting the queen in the frames just a little askew from where the feeder's gonna sit. Because we've had bees for two years now, we actually have comb for this hive, very exciting. This is something they drew out entirely on their own. And that really gives them a, like a jump start to have, you know, these already kind of drawn out. Good news, the queen is alive. If you've seen our other installs, we have had some issues in the past, but this one is alive and kicking. So we're gonna smash her in between, that was the wrong terminology. I'm gonna smash this little feeder in there in between two frames. But first I need to get out the cork. I don't know what it is on this one and we're gonna put in a marshmallow. With some skill and Eric's help, we got the marshmallow in. She's very active, so we were a little afraid she's gonna fly away. She's numbered. That's pretty cool. I've never seen them. I don't know if that's the right word, but she's, she has a number on her. There we go. Perfect, huh? All right, our queen's in, and we're going to dump the rest of the package in here. Eric helped me open it up. It's a little bit tricky, but we got it open. Does it bend all the way back? Nice. Nice. Ambiance. to get right on with you, Smoky. This part kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to get all of the bees out. I'm trying to get all of the bees out because if you leave them in the package, they usually don't come out, especially just because it's kind of cold still and there's a lot of snow. So if they touch the snow, they're never gonna make it back. There's probably at least 40 in there, so I'm going to try to get more of them out.
I'm gonna put on the inner cover. I've got some pollen on there for them. It's hard to put the hover down because they don't, they don't sometimes move. All right, almost finished. We're getting the sugar water ready for the bees. You take a thumbtack. This one happens to be an actual thumbtack. So you just make a straight line of holes and just till you get to the other side. I don't know, maybe like probably about 15 or 20 holes. And you don't want to poke it in too much. You just want to kind of get the tip in because this is going to sit upside down and you don't want it to just, you know, lose all the liquid in there. You want it to kind of just sit there and make little drips so the bees can come up and eat it. That went better than expected with Eric's help. We successfully got that hive installed and it actually went fairly easy this time because we were just had the one to install. In the past we've had to do all three which takes a considerable amount of time but we were fortunate this year and these two survived. These bees are awesome. They have worked so hard here in Alaska to overwinter. This hive was shipped on a plane just like these ones behind me so we hope to have an awesome summer with them and potentially get honey that would be awesome and bring them to the winter again and overwinter them we're done for the day out here we're going to clean up thank you guys for tuning in